Carl Goldman, and today I'm with my really good friend and energy healer, David Manning. David lives on the south coast of England. Today we're getting together to talk about his upcoming energy course, healing course, that doesn't quite yet have a name, not at this date, but we're going to talk about all of the things that he plans on bringing you in this course. One of the things that's unique that I know that's coming up with this course is its acknowledgement of the benefit and use of conventional medicine along with alternative and energy healing. David's gonna be talking about that. And what's interesting is as far as I know, you know, leaders in this field make themselves available to both conventional and energetic treatments, but they don't often talk about it. And that makes this, this entire endeavor very, very special. David, welcome. Thank you, Candice. It's lovely to, uh, to be here with you, as always. And hello, everybody. You know, before we even get into all of the inner workings, and I have lots of questions about your course, why don't you back up a little bit and just tell us about yourself, you know, where you're, fr where you're from, a little bit about your family, how you got into this entire line of work altogether. Yeah, I, I, I didn't have a choice about this line of work. It, it chose me, and I was... I tried really hard to run away from it, um, <laughs> but, but that didn't work. Um, as a child, I was very multidimensional. So I was in and out of other dimensions all of the time. And some of my earliest memories are having those um, out of body experiences that I couldn't control and that really terrified me. Uh, so I always knew that my body and me were not the same thing, in a sense, and that's always been a really useful thing. Um, I had a very fractured upbringing, like a lot of us do, and that, <laughs> that has also been really useful because that helped to maintain that multidimensional connection. When I was in my 20s, then that connection really opened up again because I, I suppressed it quite a while whilst I was growing up. Um, and as I say, I tried to run away from it, but it wouldn't let me go. Um, and so here I am, uh, you know, and there have been many, many crises in my life, many healing crises, many different major patterns of wounding that I've had to work through. Um, and that, I think, gives me a, a level of understanding of the human condition uh, and a level of acceptance of the human condition because I've had to really accept that all of this beautiful energetic and multidimensional and spiritual stuff was happening to me whilst I was deeply deeply flawed and compromised in my humanness um, and that was difficult for me to accept I thought you had to be perfect in order to do this and I was very, very far from that in my own mind. And um, that in itself has been, you know, truly deeply healing just to accept my um, very deeply flawed nature, but that also I and all of us have access to this amazing world of super, well, they're not supernatural abilities, just very, very natural abilities that are now coming online more than ever before. So, yeah, that's, that's where I'm at. And so this healing course that I'm offering now is, uh, draws on all of that wealth of experience. But at this point in time, I found myself in yet another healing crisis because I'm uh, dealing with another, my second cancer diagnosis. Uh, and that's never a pleasant thing. <laughs> um, but here I find that I'm dismantling all of my beliefs around cancer, around what it is. And I was asked very early on back in January, will you do this publicly? And that request came from other dimensions. My first response was no, <laughs> I'm not interested. And then I could see the benefits of this. And so I've started to write about it and talk about it. And uh, I, I really understand that, yeah, a lot of people could benefit, certainly from seeing Hmm. 
the multidimensional approaches to working with this and that this isn't something, you know, we are so frightened of that word cancer. Um, and I remember my mother and her friends would whisper the word cancer, she's got cancer, you know, as if it was something to be ashamed of and you know, to be hushed up. Now, one in two of us apparently are going to get cancer. And there are many, many reasons for that. A lot of those are, you know, pollution related, environment relation related, but also that there are extraordinary deep clearings happening in the collective energy fields. And that energy is moving up through our systems. Um, and sometimes that results in cancer or it activates um, patterns of dis-ease in our system that result in cancer and certainly that's a part of what I'm dealing with at the moment is some very very fundamental deep uh, human condition stuff that um, is lodged in my um, in my system and is, is working its way through so it's a fascinating journey for me apart from anything else and one that I'm certainly hoping to survive but who the hell knows I, I don't you know none of us know what's going to happen when we step out of the house. So, um, yeah, but fingers crossed on that one. <laughs> so David, you know, when I very first listened to one of your calls, one of your energy calls before, I didn't know what to expect. And after listening to it, I realized I'd really never participated or experienced anything like that quite before. I had been on guided meditations, that kind of journeying, but nothing like what you do. How would you describe it to others? What is it that you do? Yeah, that's a hell of a question, and I still am trying to work that one out. And it, it's, it's a bit of a tricky question. Essentially, what I do is I pay attention to group fields, to group dynamics, to the larger collective energies that are moving on the planet. And I didn't even realize that this was what I was doing, but it, it was. And I would perceive or feel a story starting to rise and I would be feeling it in my body so I'd be thinking oh this is all about me but of course as I paid attention I would recognize oh no this isn't me as such I'm experiencing it but this is what we're all doing at the moment and so I would start to see the threads of that and people would show up for one-to-one -one work and I would see more personal threads of that and I would pull all of these together and think ah look there's a big pattern a big story here and so I would offer a a call a teleconference on that and I'd write a bit of information about that thinking oh maybe 10 or 20 people might be interested and 150 200 people would show up and this always amazed me and together we come together there's a really large team of energies that work with me um, and of course, everybody that shows up brings their own group of energies. So the call becomes a, an extraordinary melting pot, um, a really, truly multidimensional field of energy. And just by showing up on these calls, people add something to that field of energy. Um, and we work through then the storylines that I'm perceiving in any given time. Um, and people report amazing results, amazing experiences of having been moved through energetic patterns, constructs, and having these constructs and patterns moved through them um, in ways that I find difficult to accept. But I know now, after having done these for a number of years and watched the group field and the dynamics of the group field, that these are pieces of energy work that are done for the wider collective. Um, so when people show up for these calls, they are literally volunteering as an act of service that really helps their situation, their body, their field. But is also an act, an offering to the wider field. Um, and these are powerful, they, they look to me like energetic homeopathy because I often find that I'm offering the energy of the call then to the planet's energy field. Um, and so it becomes available to the wider whole. And so this will be true of this course that I'm putting together now around 
my healing journey, um, which is around cancer, but it could be anybody's healing journey. We're all on a healing journey to one extent or another, and it doesn't matter what is your focus. Um, this course is going to have some beautiful nuggets of wisdom and energy that you're going to be able to utilize in your life. Thank you so much. David, you know, you're embarking on this healing journey, as you call it, that's not often talked about in the spiritual metaphysical community. And specifically what I'm talking about is the fact that you are seeking conventional medical treatment for your cancer along with bringing the energetic and alternative approach to it. I know others do this out there, but it's not often talked about. Can you tell us how you're going to talk about that or address that in the course? Well, you know, I've always worked with both. I was born into a very medical family. All of my family are doctors, nurses, radiographers. You know, they all work in the medical field and I'm the only one that doesn't really. And uh, uh, so my, my body integrates the two in effect. Um, and I think it's, in some ways, it's, you can look at conventional Western medicine um, as the masculine approach because it's scientific, it's rational, it's logical. Um, and you can look at the esoterics and the alternative field as the feminine approach. And so it's another way in which we bring masculine and feminine together within us, if we do it consciously. So many of us have a real issue around this. You know, we feel guilty about using Western medicine because we should be able to heal this naturally with herbs and a bit of breath work and a couple of enemas. Um, well, often it doesn't work like that. Uh, and all of those things are things I have tried, believe me. Um, and I have great respect for all of those methods and the many, many other methods that we are all working with now. Um, but <sighs> What I became aware of the first time I had cancer was that the very strong chemotherapy I was given, which laid waste to my immune system, which wasn't strong to start with, um, that medicine had, I was frightened of it. I was viewing it as a poison, as a toxin. And as soon as I was given the guidance to strip away all of the beliefs I had accumulated around that, and um, to welcome it into my system and to hold to the idea and the understanding that it was created and developed to make me well rather than to make me ill. Well, as soon as I did that, my symptoms, my side effects dropped away almost completely. And I had a much, much gentler ride with the chemotherapy. So, it becomes easy to understand that the scientists that work in the laboratories to create these medicines and the scientists that come up with these techniques, I'm about in a few weeks time or a couple of weeks time to start a course of radiotherapy. Terrifying. Until you connect with the beings of radiation who say, yeah, we'll work with you. We're really surprised that you've made contact because nobody makes contact with us. Everybody's terrified of us. And yet radiation has been used to heal cancer for millions of people around the planet. Now, it's not, I'm not saying it's a lovely approach. Um, it certainly has, you know, strong side effects. And I don't know how my body's going to cope with it either, but I know that when I go into that um, system, I will be going into it, holding my energy field as wide open as possible to welcome it in. And radiation is, in effect, the energy of the sun. Um, and I will be working consciously with the beings of radiation and the elementals of my body, the nature spirits, to help to integrate that energy as seamlessly into my system as is possible for my system. And I'll be following whatever guidance I get to help with that, whether that be, you know, wheatgrass and um, 
well, whatever it will be, I think wheatgrass is certainly going to be part of that. But there'll be lots of different things that I'll be working with alongside the um, the chemotherapy I'll be doing and the radiotherapy. Um, so it's always going to be a multi-pronged approach because we are multi-dimensional and all of these different things um, have an impact. And our mind has this extraordinary capacity to focus on positives or negatives and whatever we focus on we amplify so i'm going to be focusing on the positives of these western approaches in order to amplify those impacts and effects for my system that's really so perfect david you know we've talked about this before in association with your course too this idea of cancer being a, a battle so often thought of as a battle in our society. So what a beautiful way to talk about the fact that you, you, you might not want to think about it as a battle and you might not want to be afraid of the treatment. I mean, what a combination that is, right? A, a perspective change on both of those things can be um, helpful for somebody who's going going through something like that. Yeah, I think what I'm what I'm really aware of is that the body is constantly trying to balance itself, yeah. Um, and often the way we live takes us way out of balance, makes it really difficult for the body and the energy field to maintain a level of balance. And so a disease process, whatever it might be, is the body's attempt to come back into balance, to get our attention and say, here, pay attention here to what you're doing and work with me. Um, and so paying attention and being pulled deeper into the body, being humbled by the body, actually, and reminded that this is um, a really important aspect of the journey and it has to be included and integrated. I think that in itself is a very beautiful part of the healing process. But um, I was very aware that I had set up a, uh, a battleground in my system and to fight the cancer or to fight the drugs or whatever was just going to increase that tension in my system. And so uh, working to integrate all of these aspects, the disease and the, um, the Western medical approaches is for me, the, um, the method that works best, you know, it brings deeper peace, deeper healing, and it gives space to the body to give me its input, to let me know its wisdom. And there is amazing wisdom that the body is wanting to, uh, to share with us. You know, David, to my knowledge, no one else out there is doing this or has done this. And what am I talking about specifically? And that is you bringing your very personal healing journey of cancer, your, your, your story while you're going through it from diagnosis to treatment and beyond, nobody else is really doing this out there. What do you think that's all about for you personally? And how also can that assist others who might join you in this course? Mm -hmm. Do you know, the answer to that is I don't really know because I'm, still in the early stages of this journey myself and I have no idea where it's going or how how my body is going to respond to the the treatments that I'm um that I'm surrendering to in essence that I'm inviting in so I might bitterly regret that decision to do it publicly in a little while <laughs> um and it you know it didn't appeal to me at all initially but as soon as I started to share um my story and the information, the extraordinary level of love and support that came back to me was immediately beneficial to me and immediately, you know, very deeply healing and very deeply touching. And it, vulnerability is required on this journey. And, it, you know, that doesn't appeal to a lot of us. Um, and certainly when you put yourself in the position of somebody that's broadcasting um, their point of view in the way that I have done. Well, 
people think that you should have the answers or your life, you know, perhaps should be fairly sorted. And of course, this um, shows that up to be a complete lie. It's like, <laughs> I'm just the same as everybody else. And then um, the truth is I would rather not be doing this journey at all. Um, and I would rather be doing it quietly and on my own because it's intense. Um, but I was asked, would I do it publicly? And from the feedback I get, then I really understand that people are truly benefiting from it already. And I know that I am too. It is, it is uncomfortable. It is scary, but it would be scary doing it on my own, you know, with just a few friends involved as much as it would be or is doing it um, and writing about it and publicizing it. So, so I don't know, you know, maybe I'll have more idea on that in six months time, what doing it publicly has meant. And um, who knows, it's, uh, <laughs> it's gonna be interesting. I think it's gonna be intense. It's gonna, I think there's gonna be a lot of riches that come from it. And I know for me often, you know, if I'm, if I've put a teleconference up on my website and people are, are signing up for that and I'm thinking, God, I don't know what I'm going to do this for this. I don't know what I'm going to do for this. And I show up, sit there in front of the computer and bingo, the information is present and it falls into place. I think the same, this is a bit the same. It's like I've agreed to show up for this and so <sighs> I'm available for a wider field of exploration. Um, and that I know always benefits me. And then because we'll be doing this together, hopefully, um, you know, and this course is, is, is opening it up to a large, well, to anybody that wants to be available to it, regardless of whatever they're going through. Um, Hopefully it'll be enriching for all of us because everybody that comes to the course brings their own wisdom and brings their own magic and their own blend of healing. And that gets added to the powerful group field. That, and it is the field that does the work. It is the field that holds and contains the healing. Um, not me, uh, but this extraordinary group field that gets co-created when we work together in these ways. So... So as much as I'm scared about it, I'm also really looking forward to uh, to the process of, of engaging with this course and, yeah, and seeing, you know, I can see that what I've explored and uncovered already since, uh, since January has deeply enriched my life and my self-acceptance, my understanding of myself. Um, and so I'm sure that process will continue. You know, look how far we've come, David, than from our parents. We've talked about this where they would whisper the word cancer. Yeah. So this is healing for the entire society, for the entire collective. Can you tell our listeners a little bit about what kind of elements are actually in the course? You know, we're used to connecting with you on teleconferences, but, but you're going to do something bigger and deeper with this course, right? Can you tell us a little bit more about what you're offering, what people can expect, you know, what kind of elements and information and or. Yeah, and the, the course is very much still in formation. You know, it's, um, it's being formed on a daily basis. It's not a how-to course. It's not a guarantee of a cure or a, a process because I don't have that. Um, and as I say, I have experienced cancer once before this time around it's very different for me so i'll be blending all of the wisdom from that first journey with what i'm experiencing now and this time around 18 years later it feels deeper more uh, uh more real to me in a sense um there's a lot of written material a lot of information just on perspectives and questions we can ask ourselves i'll be inviting people that participate in the course to do a lot of their own written work because there's real magic happens when we begin to focus inside and 
give those inner voices the pen and say, here, tell me what it is you want to express. You know, I think real beauty starts to emerge. Um, there is this group field that gets formed and that's already forming quite strongly. I feel that every day now. Um, when I sit to write something, I can feel the field is building all the time. Uh, there'll be a lot of the sorts of meditations that, that I do. And on my website, there are quite a few free meditations that if people are intrigued, you can go along and, and download one or two of those and give them a try. But there'll be a lot of meditations and techniques in a sense that you can approach and apply in your own life and, and those will be downloadable so you can listen to those and use those anytime anywhere um, and there'll be a lot of teaching videos where I explain or run through things and of course all of this is totally adaptable for the individual and hopefully people will make it their own and hopefully it is about encouraging people's curiosity, um, encouraging people to inquire of their system, of their body. And we'll be working with lots and lots of different dimensions. So we will be integrating Western medical approaches and there'll be techniques and, and um, ways in which we can, protocols perhaps is the word, protocols for people to use to open their systems to welcome in uh, things that perhaps they have been frightened of and ways in which we can begin to uh, appreciate that what is a disease something we have always thought of a, this is something going wrong might actually be your body's attempt to put something right in your system and as we give space to that and pay attention to that the body can start to really bring for, forward its wisdom so uh, there are lots and lots of different elements here uh, that I'm really excited about sharing and offering to people. And I think, you know, I know that these things have worked profoundly for me. Uh, I think they're going to make a real difference to people. Um, as I say, in whatever process they're engaging with, whether that's a physical dis-ease that somebody is dealing with or whether it's an emotional issue or a relationship issue or financial issues, all of these things can come under the heading of dis-ease, um, meaning we're out of balance, out of harmony somewhere at some level in our body or in our energy field in our life. And that can always benefit from the sort of approaches, techniques, um, energetic technologies we'll be working with here. Uh, yeah. Very good. You know, as you were talking, I was thinking not only will this course benefit no matter what your challenge is out there, uh, of course, yours is focused on physical healing right now, but I think some of what you're talking about will be shared in your course could be a benefit to caregivers or even healers of other kinds. Totally. Yeah, totally. I think because it's always, it's a difficult job caretaking, looking after people that are working with illness or the therapists who are supporting people through um, their process. And so this will give hopefully useful insights techniques and technologies that can be utilized, um, meditational approaches, and, and just viewpoints that are perhaps unusual because my viewpoint has never been particularly usual. My approach to these things has never been standard. Um, and I'm very aware as I move through this now that, that a lot of disease structures um, or belief systems around disease are being dismantled in my system and this is uh this is really interesting to me to watch this happening in my system um so yeah there'll be a lot of that on offer to uh to people that are guiding and helping other people through their process and uh, i think that's going to be really interesting and exciting to see how that gets worked with well, thank you so much. I know a lot of people who follow you are uh, fellow healers and practitioners of other modalities. And I know I've learned so much from you to assist with my own clients. 
David, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to talk to us about your upcoming as yet unnamed course. Yeah, as yet, I mean, it, we will. I will come to the name fairly soon. It just hasn't manifested yet, but it's. Right. Uh, I think there are more elements of the course to yet fall in place, and then the name will will emerge from somewhere inside. Huh? I look yeah. forward to that too. But uh, and I'll share it with you as soon as it as soon as it lands. Thank you so much. I. I think I speak for everybody who might be listening, how profoundly grateful we are that, that you are inviting us along with your journey, you know? I think it's amazing, and thank you. Oh, Candice, thank you for making space for me to, to share this, and um, thank you everybody for listening. And I know a lot of people are, are holding me in the highest thoughts and prayers and light and and um, there are times particularly when I'm falling asleep when I'm really really aware of that energetic holding it's very beautiful and very real so thank you everybody for that all right well you can find out more about David's upcoming course at it's davidmanningenergywork.com did I say that right yeah all yeah. right David also has a listing on quantumhealers.com and I am Candace Frau Golden of quantumhealers.com. Thanks so much, David. Talk to you Thank soon. You. Take care.